Deep inside America's most restricted military bases, something big is happening. While China was busy celebrating the public rollout of their J-36 fighter jet in December 2024, U.S. defense engineers were standing back with quiet confidence. Why? Because the aircraft China proudly revealed. America had already surpassed years ago. What if I told you the next chapter of American air warfare isn't just a little ahead of China's? It's nearly 10 years ahead in real-world capability. This isn't theory. This is fact. The FAXX and the F-47 represent the largest jump forward in military aviation since stealth. Technology first changed the game. When Boeing's experimental aircraft tied to the F-47 secretly took flight in 2019, they weren't just seeing if a new jet worked. They were rewriting what flight itself could be. And China? They're only now reaching milestones America crossed a decade earlier. Today, we're pulling the curtain back on one of the most secret aviation programs in U.S. history and showing how the United States stays ahead in the growing high-stakes competition over the Pacific if you believe America must always stay ahead in air power. Drop a Y E S in the comments below dot timeline. The timeline says it all dot in September 2020. The U.S. Air Force shocked the world with a quiet but massive reveal. They announced that a real prototype from their next generation air dominance program had already flown and hadn't just flown but shattered expectations dot at the time. Air Force acquisition leader Will Roper confirmed what many insiders believed. America wasn't working towards sixth generation fighters. America had already built and tested one. Let that sink in. While Chinese media was showing off digital artwork and wine tunnel mock-ups, American test pilots were flying real sixth-generation aircraft deep over the Nevada desert. This wasn't a small lead dot, it was domination, the Boeing F-47, revealed by President Trump on March 21, 2025, didn't come out of thin air. The experimental aircraft behind it had been tested quietly for over five years. These weren't drawings. These weren't PowerPoint designs. They were real aircraft, pushing real limits. Meanwhile, China's J-36 made its first public appearance in December 2024. By then, America had already been flying and refining its own sixth-generation airframe for half a decade. But the real gap goes even deeper than timing. The real difference isn't when they fly out, it's how they fight, technology. F-47 and F-A-X-X aren't just upgrades. They're a total reset on how wars in the air will be fought. First stop, drone warfare. The ability for the F-47 to fly alongside unmanned aircraft. What the military calls loyal wingmen is not a bonus feature. It's built into the jet from day one. President Trump himself pointed this out directly, saying the F-47 flies with as many drones as needed and that no other aircraft on Earth can do that. This isn't just about putting more aircraft in the air dot. It's about launching smart swarms that adapt on the fly. Each drone becomes an extension of the pilot, hauling sensors, weapons, or electronic attack systems whenever the mission calls for it. China's J-36 might look futuristic with its triple-engine layout, but it's still a traditional fighter at heart. America moved past that model. The U.S. didn't build another. Jet Dot it built a flying battle. System of propulsion power engines tell another. Story. The F-47 is expected to use adaptive cycle. Engines from the next generation adaptive. Propulsion program. Dot these engines can change how they operate. Depending on the mission, more power when needed. More efficiency when required. Dot the result. Longer range. Better heat control. Higher top speeds that allows the F-47 to supercruise, staying supersonic without afterburners. Across the massive Pacific dot, and there's another big difference, these engines produce enough onboard power to support high-energy systems, including directed energy weapons. That means lasers on fighters. China's J-36, on the other hand, appears to be running modified versions of existing technology. Advanced? Yes. Groundbreaking? No. When it comes to stealth, the gap gets even wider. The F-47 was built for all aspects stealth, meaning radar is reduced from every direction. Not just the nose, its shape, materials, 
and electronic surfaces adjust dynamically to fight enemy sensors. Its heat signature is also heavily controlled, making it extremely hard to spot with infrared equipment. China has always played catch-up in stealth. Its earlier fighters borrowed from US designs. Now, the J-36 copies tailless ideas that America tested decades ago with the Beta bomber. But stealth isn't just shape. Its materials, build precision, and system design working as one, and that's where America's decades of experience pay off. What comes next hasn't been publicly explained, but defense analysts familiar with the program say. The F-47's combat abilities go far beyond anything ever placed in the sky. This jet doesn't just interfere with enemy radar that it can break enemy networks. Instead of simply blocking signals, it can inject false data into hostile systems, creating aircraft that aren't really there, targets that pop up and vanish, and sensor readings that send air defenses into chaos during classified exercises over the Pacific. A single F-47 prototype reportedly pushed through defensive layers that once required an entire strike group of older aircraft to breach. The outcomes were so unexpected that military planners were forced to rethink how air wars would even be fought in the future. This isn't a step forward. It's a complete rewrite of the rulebook. Even more impressive is how the aircraft sees without being seen. The F-47 can pick up enemy emissions from hundreds of miles away while staying invisible itself. That gives pilots a full picture of the battlefield before the enemy ever knows they're there. What's visible in public briefings barely scratches the surface. The true gap between American and Chinese sixth generation platforms lies in what isn't shown. And at the heart of that gap is automation and battlefield decision making. The FAXX program isn't just about better instruments. It changes how pilots fight. Instead of drowning in data, pilots receive only the most critical information, organized, filtered, and delivered at the right moment. Threats are flagged instantly. Attack routes are suggested. Enemy responses are predicted. Pilots don't babysit screens. They command the fight. The system learns over time. Every flight improves performance. Every operation refines tactics, while other countries focus heavily on hardware. America has invested deeply in battlefield control. China's J-36 may feature improved displays and avionics, but there is little evidence it matches the level of machine-assisted battle management built into American platforms. Naval power while the spotlight stays focused on the Air Force. The Navy's FAXX program is just as important. Carrier-based aviation presents challenges China simply cannot solve quickly. FAXX has been built for long-range missions from the deck of an aircraft carrier. That matters in the Pacific. A carrier that must sail close to enemy waters is a vulnerable carrier. FAXX allows U.S. carriers to stay safely at distance while still reaching deep into contested airspace. China can't match that right now. Their carrier operations remain limited. That their flight decks lack the experience, and the aircraft themselves lack reach. FAXX also doesn't fight alone. It coordinates refueling drones that extend mission endurance. It directs unmanned attack aircraft into danger zones ahead of manned fighters. This is not plane versus plane combat. It's network warfare. America doesn't rely on one jet. It deploys entire systems. Industrial power known of this works without production. And this is where the gap truly becomes insurmountable. F-47 and FAXX are built using methods that didn't even exist 20 years ago. Digital design allows aircraft to be tested long before materials are cut. Problems are solved in simulation instead of factories. That shortens timelines and reduces failure. More importantly, it allows constant improvement. These aircraft won't freeze in time. They evolve. China's industry is improving, but still struggles with engine production. Critical parts come from a broad dot and when foreign supply chains strain, so does their readiness. America builds at home dot with experience built across decades. Stealth coatings, advanced composites, high performance engines, all mastered over generations. That experience cannot be stolen dot it must be learned. And China is years behind. Strategic impact a 10 year. Technological lead changes everything. Air dominance is the foundation of modern warfare. Without it, nothing else matters. 
And America isn't just protecting dominance that it's extending it. These fighters make detection nearly impossible. They see enemy aircraft before being seen. They strike from distances others can't reach. And they overwhelm defenses with numbers, both manned and unmanned, for planners in Beijing. The problem is brutal. Rush development and sacrifice quality, or take the long road. And accept being outmatched for a decade, neither is a good option. Holding the lead maintaining this edge isn't automatic that the world moves fast. Technology ages, but the development strategy behind F-47 and FAXX is different. Instead of rushing production, America proved performance first. Years of testing, real aircraft, real data dot the result. No repeat of past mistakes dot no learning in combat. This time, the aircraft arrive ready. As China pushes forward with its own aerospace development, America's commitment to staying ahead remains unshaken. The F-47 and FAXX programs aren't about showing off technology. They exist to prevent war by making the cost of conflict too high to consider. When a nation knows it cannot win control of the air, everything else becomes impossible. Without dominance in the sky, fleets don't sail, armies don't advance, supply chains collapse, that's the deterrent power of air superiority, and the F-47 and FAXX ensure the United States holds it firmly. The fact that America's sixth-generation aircraft remain a full decade ahead of China's best efforts isn't a talking point. It's the result of planning, innovation, manufacturing power, and strategic patience. While China publicly celebrates its new aircraft, American engineers are already refining systems that will dominate the skies for decades. This isn't about competition for attention. It's about staying prepared. It's about ensuring America never finds itself fighting from behind. Technological leadership is not automatic. It's earned through hard work and relentless improvement. And the F-47 and FAXX represent exactly that. The real importance of this gap isn't about bragging. Rights. It's about peace when American aircraft cannot be matched. Wars are less likely to happen at all. The F-47 and FAXX are not just improvements. They are a clear message, a reminder that American engineering, American workers, and American determination still set the standard. As these aircraft move from testing to deployment, they will quietly ensure that the balance of power stays exactly where it should dot in America's favor. If you've enjoyed this inside look at how the U.S. maintains its edge in the air, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on the technology. Shaping the future of defense. Until next time, keep watching the skies.